Hey guys and welcome to a panda film tutorial. This is part 2 of a series of 5 tutorials on how to retouch a model's face. In the previous part, part 1, we showed you how to remove blemishes of a model's face. And in part 2, this part, I'm going to show you how to enhance the eyes. This is going to involve some sharpening and colour adjustments using curves and levels. So first I'm going to go into the quick mask tool. You can access this by hitting Q on your keyboard or hitting down here, the button here. And I'm going to choose a brush that should fit the eye completely like this. First I'm going to change the hardness to 100%. Ooh, okay. And then select the eye like so. Let's just choose both eyes. Zoom in and choose the eraser tool and just go where we're not going to see the iris. Is it the iris? I have no idea. Should have really paid attention in biology. So I'm just going to go around the eyelashes because we don't want to affect them. Like so. Hit Q so we can see the marching ants around the eyes of where we selected. Go to our eraser again. Q. So let's just check both eyes. That should work fine. So now I'm just going to duplicate the background layer. Oops. Uh, let's create a levels. Now here what we want to do, one thing I forgot to mention, when you've made the selection don't forget to invert the selection by holding shift and control and hitting I. This will make sure the eyes are selected not everything around the eyes. So now we're going to create a levels adjustment layer and we're just going to bring these blacks up Bring these down just a tad and make, pull this down a little bit. You can see the before and after. They have a lot more definition than in now. Before, after. And then we can hold control and click on the layer mask and then create another adjustment layer, which is going to be a curves adjustment. So now I'm just going to pull up the highlights and just pull down the shadows just a tad, like so. Now I'm going to hit Control, Shift and Alt and then hit E. So this will combine all the layers below into one layer. So we're going to name this Eyes Merge. I'm going to grab the Burn tool, scale this down just a bit make sure the exposure is on 50% and just go round the outside of the eye in one single stroke on both eyes. Now I'm going to choose the dodge tool. Whoops. Dodge tool, make the brush slightly smaller and these cat slides I'm just going to highlight ever so slightly to bring more life and glint in the eyes. We go to fit screen and if I just turn these off, you can see the before and after. So now the next step is what I normally do, is I'd create a sharpen. So what I'll do is I'll duplicate this layer, Control and J. And then go to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask, and pay attention to the eyes you see here when doing the sharpen. So we're just going to bring the amount down ever so slightly to say 30%. Toggle preview on and off. I think 35% will do it. Yep, 35%. And we're going to hold Alt and hit this layer mask button, which will make it look like that it's taking everything off. What this has actually done is made it so that we can paint 
on the areas we'd like to see sharpened. So I'm going to paint white on the eyes. And you can see what this does if we hold Alt and click on the layer mask. You can see the parts we've selected. Go to full screen, before, after. Now with layer masks I like to keep a simple tip in mind. Black conceals, white reveals. That's because when you paint on with black it will hide the layer and when you paint on with white it will let the layer show through the layer mask. I use layer masks for everything these days. It's just an old habit now. So it's really good to get in the hang of using layer masks for things like this. So that's it for this part. I know it was shorter than the last, thankfully. The last, the last part was 10 minutes. And I know I'm rambling, but you know. So in the next part, part three, I'm gonna show you how to use skin smoothing techniques. So digital powder, removing shine, and fixing skin tones on the face. So I hope to see you in the next part, part three. Thanks for watching this tutorial.